Well, I'm glad to talk about Mackie McNeil and, and what, what they brought to our company when we decided we needed an, a fractional CFO to help us. We were about a 25-year-old company and been through a lot of toil and trouble and being really just an entrepreneurially driven company for so long. And so things can get a little bit uh, wonky and, and can, can constantly be a challenge to me as a founder owner. This is a founder owner. All I really wanted to do was grow the top line and be okay. You know, and, and that's really not good enough when you suddenly wake up one day with 50 or 60 people working and it gets complicated. And what Mackie was able to do for us and their team was really critical to bringing us to where we needed to be as a company and as a team. And believe it or not, this, this is boring to me. In fact, it bores the pants off of me. I'd rather talk about anything than accounting practices. It's just terribly, it makes me want to glaze my eyes over. But when we got down to the nitty gritty, it turned out that we didn't actually even have any trust in our own accounting. So if we didn't trust our accounting, why would anybody else trust our accounting? We didn't think our charts, our chart processes were right with charting our accounts. We weren't sure that we were, were counting our gross profit the right way. We weren't sure what our factors were supposed to be, working capital and some other things. And so when we brought them in, the first thing we had to do was get obsessed with our accounting prowess on our end. And they helped us build that accounting prowess and our attention to that. It was very important to do that. Well, what Mackey's team did was they coalesced our minds and focus around where we definitely wanted to go. I appreciated the fact that they brought in fresh energy and outsider energy to our company. We had developed this wonderful team, but it was that leader team had been together as a team for four, five, six years in a row. We all grown up in the business together as team members, and we really didn't have any fresh outside perspective coming in. And the fractional CFO role that Mac Advisors provided allowed us to see things that they learned from lots and lots of other interactions and experiences. One of the softer sides of, of the relationship with the CFO being a fractional organization for us is that they had they had no no friends here. It was, they were working for the company as a whole and they weren't trying to pull any punches for me or for anybody. They told us, each of us were told the truth about the role we were playing in the process. And they weren't afraid to tell us, any one of us or in the group of us, where we were a little askew and where we were good and where we had serious challenges. And the challenges were interesting because Many times we had problems and issues that we were dealing with, but we didn't know what to do. But Mackey Advisors has a team there and every one of them got involved in finding things that were going on where they had unique ability to put a focus on that one item and help us fix it. And so it was almost like we had two or three leader teams suddenly working on our projects and in our, solving our issues not just our six or seven folks around the table. So bottom line is I felt like having a really, really good outsource CFO to be transformational in our company. It sounds, it sounds too good to be true, but really over the last five to seven years that I was running the company before a successful sale, our gross profit and our net profit actually doubled and we were a mature, successful company, but we were managed to double our net profit. And that's something that nobody does in a mature company in a mature market like we like we were in. We continued to grow. We continued to be better and better at our accounting and our business acumen. And I don't think it would have ever happened if we hadn't committed to an outsourced CFO. One of the things we had to get used to was being really steady about meeting on a certain schedule to discuss our metrics. When we were working through this process with Mackey Advisors, what they helped us do was determine the exact five, six, or seven things that we needed to focus on 
And every one of the things we were focusing on were things that our actions would affect. And we would be able to see that effect over a period of time. Even, even one or two months could be a change, but certainly over several months and a few years, vast changes occurred. So by paying attention to those metrics, and we, we did them internally, we did those metrics weekly. And some of them we focused on because of the cycle of them. Some were monthly and some were quarterly because of the actions and the, the nature of that metric. But by tracking them, believe it or not, every one we tracked got better every time we, we looked at it. And it might only have gotten better a little bit or half a percent or just a little bit. But none of the metrics that we were learning to track ever went down. And so we started realizing that if we measure it, we get better at it. And if we consistently measure it and we meet about it around the table, and sometimes we met with them about it on a regular basis too, which was important, then it always got better. We always got more aware and got more tuned in to what we could do. And that was a critical part of the success we had. 